Did you do this? Did, did we, we do this? this? Can, 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 can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? Hi cultists, welcome back. Today we're going to continue Slay the Princess. This is part 3, if I'm not mistaken. And we're going to continue the story. When we left, left, left off, um, I believe that we tried to kill the princess. We did it on the first on the first time. However, on the second attempt, on the second chapter, uh, it was funny because she was actually a ghost. And a really, really nice one like that. We took pity on her and we took it out of the cabin. And again, we deliver her to whatever entity is waiting for us at the end of the world. So today I want to do something different. What I'm planning to do is something in regards to choices that haven't been taken on the previous chapters, on the previous uh, episodes. I know there is like an option, or I thought I saw it, an option to leave the forest at the beginning of the game. And I also thinking that there is an option to not take the knife with me to the basement. So I'm going to explore these two things on this on this episode and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so before we start, I just want to remind you that if you like the content, please share it, subscribe, like, and do the YouTube dance. That way the algorithm will like me and will make this channel grow. So without further ado, let's continue the story. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to, to slay, slay her. her. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't, it will be the end of the world. Now, let's see if we can find that option here. Yeah, they want to turn around and leave. I want to see what happens. Maybe he won't let me. But I'll, let's, let's, let's see. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? <laughs> Do you yeah. even know where you're going? I got no idea, but... Quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. <laughs> yeah. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Whoa, hero. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path <laughs> also leads to the cabin. Oh, uh, what an asshole. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be <laughs> saved after all. All right, narrator, do we end this one? Oh, we can continue trying to live. Turn around again and live again. <laughs> You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably <laughs> selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. <laughs> You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. <laughs> stakes and consequences aren't emotional blackmail. They're facts of life, and if you had an ounce of maturity, you'd understand that. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Are we going in circles back to the cabin? Oh, would you yeah. look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition <laughs> or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I got two choices now. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again, in fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. There's no one else here. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. What? At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Okay, the things. Listen at the music. It's getting distorted. And the cabin is right there. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. 
What the actual fuck, man? What the actual fuck? In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Whoa, okay. Wait, what's going on? We're tripping balls, hero. But you're too stubborn <laughs> for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, narrator, I have to do this. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness, but it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Including us, I presume. Chapter 2, The Stranger. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Wow, there's like a... Was this before here? Like a wall? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Again, look at this. I, I, I knew I wasn't dreaming it. There, is, there are some new walls over here. Oh, this is this is interesting. We have two choices. We can ask her about the wall and probably go find the princess in the cabin and see what happened with her. Oh, there's an option to stay in the woods forever. Man, I don't know what. Okay, this is getting interesting again. Uh, let's piss off the narrator as much as possible this time. I'm going to stay in the woods forever. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Whoa. Okay, so the entity won't, level, won't let us, and she's present in chapter two. Okay, let's ask, let's ask about the wall. Those walls weren't here last time. You can just force me to go with, to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Yeah, if whatever. If you remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like <laughs> a captive audience. Oh no. We have evolved the voice to the ultimate <laughs> sarcastic asshole. <laughs> he might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin. But, I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. <laughs> if by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. Yeah. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. Did it end, though? The world hasn't ended yet. You are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task <laughs> ahead. Lie. Yep, okay. Heading into the cavern now, where I'm definitely going to slay the princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. I'm sorry, but the contrarian is so much fun that you are. Let's see. A warning before you go any further. She will cheat and steal and lie and all that, right? Look at the walls, man! Some Attack on Titan shit right here. <laughs> she will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Yeah, yeah. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. <laughs> Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. And I like it. Let's keep an open mind. Ah, uh, Hero, you're... Okay, I think the first time that Hero is going to actually side with the narrator in this one. Let's proceed to the cabin. The cabin interior is wrong. 
a confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across oh. what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted, an inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. Hey, okay, that's getting interesting, man. The furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Hey, just for this one. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust, or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a <laughs> knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? That is actually up to true. Can we throw it out of the window? Would it let me? No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? A princess that can end the world, you so can't yeah. Just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. And again, the music, it's distorted. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job which is to slay the princess and, through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Right. Oh, 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 you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Probably we're going to end in an Eminem song. <laughs> Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Can we? How can we do that? Just ignore Let's see the, the options. Geometry and stay calm. Let's see what's gonna happen. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours and quickly, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, because the the end of the world and all that. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin. But we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. <laughs> Contrading is being my favorite so far, I'm not gonna lie. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, hero, relax. Everything's gonna be fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. I still don't think it's necessary to inquire about the mirror, so... I'll take the blade and go to the basement. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Yeah. Okay, fine, you took the knife. You really shouldn't hold it like that. <laughs> then how are we supposed to hold it? Let's see. The other way. Thumb at the bottom. will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. <laughs> it really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. <sighs> now I wish I didn't have it. Hold the blade the other way. <laughs> Switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, narrator. Look at the dagger, look at this. Looks so fun. Isn't this so much better? <laughs> <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. <laughs> we feel cooler now. We have cool points. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal <laughs> with the princess already. Okay, this turned into a... From a horror novel to a sitcom here with the three voices. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, man. We have the option to throw it out of the window. I'm sorry, I I, I cannot stop myself. Ah <laughs> yes, do it. Seriously. <laughs> uh, you throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. Let's see how it goes. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Oh well. If the princess wasn't going to do it, the heat death of the universe was going to come for it eventually. 
Damn. <laughs> I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. Relax, hero. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. Ah, uh, don't be sarcastic, narrator. Let's go to the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Man, this is going insane! Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Oh damn. And the princess is somewhere around here. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Mm. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Oh damn. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Oh, are you here to kill? Oh man. No. No, thank you. <laughs> the hero is absolutely terrified. Oh, don't be such a baby. I love the contrarian. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. I mean, I don't know if we're going to die. Well, we're probably going to die. I don't know. We're going to die for sure. We don't even have a weapon. Relax, hero. Let's see what happens. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. What? And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? I don't think so. There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. <laughs> I love it so much. I guess this is a maze, so... Let's go for the center staircase. You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. That's all I need. You concentrate on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you'd made a decision that took you someplace else. And so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, another foot down, another after that. You lose yourself in following the correct pattern, in following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down, or up, or maybe sideways. You don't even know, narrator. But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. Apparently, we don't, we're not sure. Look at it. This is going insane, man. So trippy. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Whoa. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish until the only things experienced are the endless, repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. We're rolling in detail now. We're in sketch world. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Can I help you? We, we got to the basement? What... What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. 
What happened to us? Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get <laughs> back to our old devilish ways. <laughs> the cartoon villain. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <laughs> You're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. Though I'm still not <laughs> sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit. Try and get our bearings. She seems... Normal. She doesn't seem normal, man. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. And yet here you are. How strange. Do you remember anything at all? Do you know why you're here? Do you know me? I'm here to kill you, and I do not know you. Or at least not this version of you. The shadows recede, revealing the princess's face. Okay. She's so blank. I have no idea who she is. <laughs> Isn't that fun? A new puzzle for us to take apart. Like how all this game. If she's keeping her cards close to her chest, it's because she wants to deceive you. Relax, narrator. It's okay. Don't worry. Sometimes I get lost here too. Okay, they are mind fucking us now. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. Oh, and what the hell? Do that? <laughs> I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? <laughs> put her back together. Again? Have you been here before? Ah, oh, don't try to to trick us again. Do you remember? Should we tell him? Yeah, let's tell him. Yeah, let him stew. All right, I got your plan, brother. Right, I'm telling him. Yeah, we've been here before, but we never went to the cabin. We just turned around and left until. Until. It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. And then you told us that the world ended and we died. And then we woke up, and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with all the rest of it. So, is it that he doesn't remember in this timeline or whatever, or he's again tricking us. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? It is. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here and you need to do it now. Oh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Look at this. This is like three options like to gather. I'm getting you out of here. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. And we're gonna fully think about the time you threw the blade out the window. <laughs> and they are simultaneously all in the same. So maybe that's the way to create more of her. Let's do it. Let's let's get some chaos going. Wait. That's not right. I know. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands. But the it lands man. different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. Oh, man. <laughs> You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. And look at this. The blade is bloody it now. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. <laughs> We're all terrified. They're like merging together. Oh man. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Yeah, we we might have fucked up here. Luckily for all of us, nothing and 
everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all. And he died. Or he disappeared now. Falls apart? <laughs> yeah, falls apart. I think he's gone. But we are not in the void. We are with the... With... I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> we were never going to salvage this, were we? Uh, I really don't think so. What happened to us? What are we? What are we? There, are there are parts of us that are dead, dead and, and the others, and the others they just don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. I hope I didn't fuck up the the entity at the end of the world. We can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. It's all so uncomfortable. This is some Lovecraftian shit right here. Holy crap. Did you do this? Did, did we, we do this? this? Can, 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 can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? I don't know if I can fix you. We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I mean, he's a contrarian, not a monster. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. <laughs> uh, it it's happens. A late for regret, isn't it? A little. Please, please, please. please. Oh shit! I'm getting, I'm feeling so, so sorry right now. <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh. So the entity did. Took her. Oh man. But now no if she hears your reply. She's gone. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? No, she's with the Is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? I, I want to be nice to the hero. I mean he's not his fault. It's going to be okay, just trust me. We have been here before, and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Don't worry, hero. Yeah, don't look at it. I don't like that thing. <sighs> Sorry, Contrarian. It's not the end. What's, whatever's on the other side is going to be fine. It's going to be nice. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Thank you, hero. <laughs> You're not messing with us, right? I'm not contrarian. Or not that I know of. Let's approach. You approach the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. You are gone once again. The mirror always makes them live. But you need to see what's in it. You have withered. Oh crap, I'm what the heck? I, I need to go see the princess then. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Are you are you okay? No, did I fuck her up? You're at the cabin. I'm, I'm going to approach her. No. Okay, no. In the growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. Ah, uh, did we mess her up? We, we brought her to many things? All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. What do you think about this vessel? These ones are a contradiction, a winding kaleidoscope of paths and wall. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. Man. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Well, that's a good end for them, I guess. Do you know what happens to the wars we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, 
except when you are here with me. Okay. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Speaking of that, how many... How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. <laughs> Cryptic as ever, right? How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Oh, I know. I want to keep bringing her more. Damn. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, that's been everything for Slide the Princess today. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoy it, please leave me a comment, share and subscribe to the channel so we can grow the community. And once again, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being so awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.